Hello guys, this is Becca, and if Macy will move, <laughs> I will show you what I have, but she won't move, <laughs> you silly girl, we let mama do a video, Ooh, almost tipped my chair over, alright, I'm here to share with you the next diamond painting that I'm going to do. And this one here is for uh, Diamond Grandma's event in October of hashtag Fall Y'all 22. And I'm going to use this canvas here. This was gifted to me by Miss Crafty Girl 42. Thank you so much, Kathy. I love it, love it, love it. I'm going to share, oh, two, two bags, I haven't, huh, two bags, okay, it's the first time I've seen that, let's see what we got here, if the, uh, LH1111, that's right. LH1111. Okay, so I guess they just put it in two bags this time. Huh. Okay. It comes with the... Well, this is a little bit more than the basic because it has the little squeegee. But it comes with the boat, the pen, two uh, or long... Uh, what do you call that? Rectangle of wax and the squeegee and some bags. Okay, so this is a little bit more than just the basic. This here is a red truck. And it says, Fall for Jesus. He never leaves. And it's the red truck. It's the American flag. Uh, it's leaves in fall colors. And I'm not sure what all's in the truck bed. Probably pumpkins and stuff. I can't tell right now. Let's see. Does it have a thumbnail? It does, but it's so small I can't tell. Looks like it might be pumpkins. And I love it. It also has the three crosses in the back of the bed truck. Truck bed. <laughs> bed truck. Truck bed. Uh, I love the, the pickup trucks. They started out just doing them for Christmas in the red. Now they got to where they do them for every um, every occasion, just about it now. I'm bending this a little bit where that was folded. It's got a little crease there. And I'm also going to take and lift up. This is to relieve it where it kind of lay more flatter. The sticky's really good on this. Uh, I don't know where she purchased this. Like I said, it was gifted to me. So I can't tell you where to find it. You, you might could find it on Amazon. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know where she got it from. I didn't ask. <laughs> I didn't ask. But there we go. And... I'm going to go ahead because I'm fixing to kit this up. Probably not on camera. Because it takes me a little while to do kitting up. So I won't do it on camera. But I wanted to share the color of the drills with you. Since I'm fixing to kit up. It will be fine for me to take it out of the bag and show you. Okay, it has 23 colors in it. All right, let's go with the first set of colors. Starting with number one. That's the second set there. Well, man, that's, that glue is glued, let me tell you. Well, I guess I'm pulling it the right way. I don't see any other flap. Man. Oh, that was just some tough glue there. Okay, we got it now. 
We'll start at number one. We have like a uh, a yellow green. This here looks like does not have DMC numbers on the packs, but let's see, it does here. Yeah, number two is black. An orange and a gray and a olive green and a darker green, a darker gray. This here is probably the red, which is 666, yes. Darker orange, all different shades of oranges and reds. And then the next pack. That's kind of a, not really a mustard. This is more the mustard here. I don't know what color yellow you would call that. There's like a peach color, brown, burgundy, pink, uh, another shade of brown, tan, different shades of, of beiges and tans and oranges and yellow. And then that's that mustard. All right, guys, I'm excited. I'm ex oh, it's falling off the shelf. <laughs> I'm going to get to kitten this up, and uh, then the next video you see on this one, I'll be started. Uh, let me on here. Let me go ahead and see. Okay, yes, the glue has come over. Now, what I mean by that, I'm fixing to put some washi tape around the edge. I'll go ahead and do that on camera. The reason I do that, I lift up this plastic and right at the edge of where um, it starts, where you diamond paint at, the glue came over a little bit, about a, a, not really even a fourth of an inch, probably maybe an, hmm, I don't know how to say it, a little bit less than a fourth of an inch. Started to say an eighth, but it might be a little more than an eighth. Um, but when that happens and you're, you're like when you're diamond painting and you, if you accidentally touch the edge, you know, and you touch it a whole lot, then that starts to get to looking dingy. Of course, if you're going to trim your, your uh, canvas when you get through, that's not going to matter that it gets to looking dingy. It's, it's going to be fine. But I just personally like to go ahead and cover it up. And then I section off my canvas, and I'll show you how I do that. I didn't have my tape out because I wasn't expecting to do it. Oh, let's see. Let's see, let's see what I got here. Let's see, let's see what I got here. <clears throat> I like to coordinate, guys. <laughs> to coordinate it even if it ain't for any particular reason you know I just like to I mean you know even if it's not going to stay on there I still like because I like pretty things and I like things coordinating so I'm using yellow washi tape I'm going to put it right at the edge where the black line starts. And yes, it's gonna cover some of my DMC numbers, but I have another um, ledger over here, if that's what you call it. Some call it something else, but I can never remember that word. Can never remember that word. Okay, so I put it like that. Then I will pull this down like right here. This. So guys, I have a question while I'm ah, uh, it slipped out of my fingers. While I'm doing this, I have a question I want to ask you. Do any of you use a light pad if you use a light pad do you use do get your words out Becca 
do you use a stand for your light pad? Or do you just lay your light pad down level on the desk? Okay. <laughs> it's more than one question, isn't it? <laughs> Several questions here. <laughs> if you uh, use the lights, the, yeah, the stand for the light pad, do you like it? Do you enjoy it? Is it easier on you using the stand uh, than having the light pad just lay, you know, straight down on the desk? And explain your reasons, you know, your your answers. If it's easier, tell me why it's easier. Uh, I'm asking you this because. I've had a light pad ever since I've started diamond painting, which has been several years. Um, but I just used it flat down on my desk. I've never had a stand. And guys, I did a video um, Saturday. I think it was Saturday, Friday or Saturday I did a video. I think it might have been Friday. Um, of a haul I got from uh, Amazon where uh, I told you about my light pad the one I had uh, went out. It, it quit burning. I guess it just, it, I used it so much it just blowed or whatever you would call a light pad doing. <laughs> anyway, it quit working. It wouldn't come on. So I purchased another one, but it come in a box. The one I purchased come in a box with extra things with it. And um, I did a video sharing that with you. Okay, now I'm going to section off. I got around the edges uh, taped up. Now I'm going to section off. This is a uh, 40 by 30, but um, I only section it in four sections when it's just a 40 by 30. If it's bigger, I will add, you know, do it in more sections. But I just put a strip down the middle and a, down the middle this way to section it off in four sections. And I'll tell you more about that in a minute. But I did uh, did a video sharing with you my haul, and in that haul was um, my light pad kit is what I'm calling it because it come with more things than just the light pad. It come with some pins, it come with some wax, it come with, um, oh, what and all did it come with? It came with a lot of the stand for the light pad. Um, I don't remember it come with a lot of different things and I shared that with y'all but I didn't immediately upload the video and I have to clean my phone out you know I have to to have enough of storage I have to clean my phone out every so often and it just happened to be one of those times that I needed to clean my phone out so I deleted old videos and pictures and things that I didn't need anymore and I even cleaned out the trash bin, you know, because even though you delete things, it sends it to the trash bin. Well, your phone is still holding that in storage because you haven't deleted it completely from your phone. And so I cleaned out trash bins and everything. Well, I went back yesterday or Friday. Yeah, this is, yeah, yesterday, Saturday. I went back to upload that video and realized I had deleted the video. <laughs> I had deleted the video. So, that was a bummer. But anyway, what I was asking uh, about, you know, I, like I said, it came with, that kit came with a lights, you know, a stand to put your light pad on and then you put your, your canvas there um, to diamond paint. Do y'all do like it that way better than it laying flat down? Is it easier on you in any way, like maybe your neck or your back or whatever? Um, I tried it with a light stand. Didn't really like it. Um, so I put the light stand, you know, to quit using it and just put my light pad back down flat and finish doing my diamond painting yesterday but then today when I pulled out my diamond painting to start 
diamond painting. I decided to try the light pad again. Well, it's a little bit easier than it was yesterday. I don't know if it's just because I'm not used to doing it. I have it laid back as, as far as I know. I have it laid back as far as it'll go. But yet it still seems to be, you know, I'm used to it being flat and kind of resting on the desk and doing it. And with it setting up like this, you know, I can't put that pressure on it that I normally put on it. I don't know. Just let me know what you think about using the stand for your light pad. Whether you like it or you don't like it or or what. I, and maybe you have some tips for me or whatever um, that would make it more enjoyable to use the stand. I don't know. Um, I know some people do use the stand, but I've never really heard how they feel about it or... or you know, if they think it's easier than it being laying flat down, the pad being laying flat down or what. So, just give me your opinions on that and uh, how you feel about it and, and all that good stuff. Now, I section off. Now, see, doing it on the light pad, I don't know how I would go about doing it. But because when I was doing it with my pad straight down, you know, not on a stand, the re one reason I sectioned it off, and I always start up here in this left-hand corner, the reason being is I can pull my canvas down and tuck it down between the desk and, and me, and then I cut, I cut right here after I section off. Now, where, what, I don't section it off on the canvas itself. Now, this tape is on the canvas itself, but the tape that I sectioned off is on the plastic, not the canvas. That's so I can take and cut it right here at the tape. If it'll quit sliding here on me. Oh, I hate it when it tears like that. Okay. Now, I cut it right there, so when I get start get ready to start diamond painting, then I will take this section and I will pull it over here and use a cover minder to keep that down out of my way. And like I said, this is tucked down here. And so I'll sit like this and I diamond paint and um, with it flat. So, when I first start, if I'm using the pad, it's sitting up like this, and I can still use the cover minder. So, I normally go from here to here, and then, because when I get through with this sec when I get through with this section, I'll cut this off. I don't cut it off until I complete that section, because, you know, if there's still some I haven't diamond painted, I'll put this back over it, and to keep the, the glue protected. Well, then when I finish this section, I'll cut the, the cellophane here, and then I will just pull this section down and work here. So then I get through this, and I'll cut that off. So then I'll have my diamond painting setting like this on the pad. Well, when I'm working on this part, and I pull this down, I won't be able to use my cover minder. I'm not even sure how this will work. You know, when I'm working on this part, and this is hanging over with the, the stand, I'm just confused. Tell me how y'all use it and how it works for you and, you know, your layout of how you do your canvas on it and stuff like that. I mean, if you have a video, maybe you could do a video showing it. Let me know below in the comments that you've made a video. I just, I, I'm confused of whether I'm going to like it on the stand or if I want to put it back down flat. I just, I don't know. <laughs> I just don't know. So just, if you don't mind uh, doing a video and sharing with me how you, your, your layout, how you do it, and, um, you know, how it works for you, I, do, I really would appreciate it. All right, guys, this video's probably ended up long. I can't, let me see if I can stand up here and see. 
Ooh, it's already 20 minutes long. Okay, well, I'm going to go. I wanted to share this with you and let you know this is going to be my next diamond painting for hashtag fall y'all 22 hosted by diamond grandma those links are in the title um and i will give you some updates of my progress and a definitely a completion video all right guys i will talk with you all later i hope you all have a great rest of your day bye